Right, good morning guys. So, a day of, well, it's the weather's okay out there, but it's a bit dull. It's dry, but it's trying to be rainy, I think. So I thought, I oh, know, let's clean the cameras a little bit. So, one thing I discovered the other day, and it's this stuff, and it's by far the best screen cleaner, lens cleaner I've ever used. It's amazing stuff. Um, it's called ben Betron. Premium screen cleaner. I don't know if you can see that. Um, comes in a, a couple of different sizes. Anyway, it's eight ninety nine. I found on Amazon. It comes with a cleaning cloth and everything. Uh, but we just had this already. And I'll tell you what. I don't know if you suffer from this a little bit. You know, when it's a really hot, sweaty day, and you've got your sunglasses on, you end up with eventually a little bit of sweat across the top of your. If your sunglasses sit, you know, up against your face. Um, I quite often end up with you know greasy fingerprints on the lenses and God knows what else. And just by breathing on them and giving them a clean doesn't really clean off the um, residue. So, and you get the same problem with the cameras because obviously we're using our hands all the time on them. We end up with marks on them. Um, the EVFs generally get quite dirty. The rear screen gets dirty as well. And I'll tell you what, this stuff here is, it's just crazy. I mean, I don't think you can see that, but basically, I've got fingerprints all over there. Um, the cleaning demonstration of the world. One thing I don't understand is they've got that and then you've got another thing as well, which makes no sense. So a little squirt, give your screen a little clean. And I'll tell you what, simple as that, if I can do it. There is zero marks, residue, anything like that on it. Absolutely brilliant. Um, I'm just going to try and do the um, the actual EVF, but I might just got a little bit on the cloth itself just to get in there, or maybe use a cotton bud or something because these EVFs are bloody tiny. Um, so I think I'll just do. A little squirt onto the corner of that cloth there, and I'll get in there around it, and then go with a dry bit. Okay, that is really clean. Do the do the lens, so it's not too bad. But um, yeah, this stuff, uh, eight ninety nine. I've seen it on um, Amazon for, and it seems incredible. Definitely seems the best way of doing it is spray it onto a cloth, because then you can just wipe straight on rather than spray it all over your camera, um, and then dry it, dry it off, and it's. Basically, no marks at all. It cleans. It, there's no alcohol in it, apparently. It says uh, powerful dirt removal, antibacterial, antistatic, and no alcohol. Made with distilled water, uh, ammonia, something of sulfate, something else I can't say, and sodium dod or super blah blah, and uh, something else. But don't drink it, apparently, and keep it out of reach children. Um, but yeah, for the money, it's very, very good. And I think, you know, it's it's one of those things that I, I've struggled for years to try and find something that's actually quite good. I mean, I used to um, ceramic coat my rear screens, which is good because it stops them getting scratched. So it actually has a hard coating on it. But you still end up with fingerprints and dirt marks on them and stuff like that. So actually to clean it off, this is great because it literally has no smears, no nothing. And it just works really nicely. So... Yeah, if you go onto Amazon and just type in, I'll put a link in the description, but for the UK stuff market, but have, have a look for that basically. It should focus that place. Um, yeah, Betron Premium Screen Cleaner. That's a 200ml bottle, that one, but there's a smaller one, I think, as well. But yeah, great, great product. And it's changed again. One, cleaning my sunglasses. That's, that's so nice now, is actually having clean sunglasses for once. Because um, when you're out and about, 
and I might get mucky, I'm out, out in the elements, you know, rain hitting it, sand, wind and all that sort of stuff on my glasses. And they just it's just been a brilliant cleaner. And I've got I have got sort of reading glasses now, or when I'm sort of editing, I, I wear them just so I can see the screen really clearly, because uh, my eyesight's changed as I got older. But the spray that came with uh, my glasses, it works, but it's not brilliant. So you know, it was nice to be able to find something like this that um, just works so so well. So yeah, no, absolutely fantastic. And the fact there's um, you, you don't get any static issues, so there's no more like dust being attracted to your lens or anything like that. So you know, and there's no residue, and that's where I used to find I'd be cleaning the cleaning my sunglasses or my, or the back screen or a lens or something. And you'd just be moving stuff around, and you'd be like, how do I get rid of this? Uh, you know, eventually you might be able to things like that, but then you end up with dirty cloths and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, it's yeah, well worth it. Eight ninety nine. Or thereabouts, ten pounds, depending on what size you go for. Uh, I'm not sure how big a 200 mil one is, but the one I saw this morning on Amazon, which I put link in, was 8.99. But it'll go a long, long way. I mean, that'll last a very long time. So yeah, oh, I just want to put it out there. Um, if you struggle with your cleaning your lenses and your screens and things like that, I thought it'd be worth worthwhile. So yeah, no, anyway, don't forget to click the subscribe button, little notification bell as well. Have you found anything that's probably better than this or as good as this? Let me know. In the, um, thing below also cloths what kind of cloths do you use because i bought a load of cheap ones you know a box of 50 the little squares or rectangles slightly uh and i sort of go through them and eventually they end up knackered or or you know dirty you can either put them in the washing machine but then they come out a bit strange uh and they don't really work as well or you just bin them and just buy some more but is there any particular cloths that you recommend let me know in the comments below or anything you use and you like um, I use a, a makeup brush, so one that's obviously not been used for makeup, um, to get in the nooks and crannies and the grips and everything like that to clean the cameras. That's, that works really well. But for the screens and everything, this stuff now is my go-to um, product. Absolutely awesome. Um, I don't know how long it's been around, but discovered it recently. So, yeah. Anyway, catch you later, guys.